In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the path array command. So we've already covered the polar array and the rectangular array. Path array is the next one that we would use. Um, it's the last type of array. Now I'm on the home ribbon and I can find this on the modify panel and it is buried right in here. I can see the rectangular array right now. If I click on that tiny arrow to the right of that word array, I've already made a video for rectangular array and polar array, so this time we're gonna do path array. And again, you can find those in the modify pull down window. If you go down to array, you can select path array here as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw just a little object Oops, let me come in here. I'm just going to draw a little circle and I'll just kind of start that circle down here. And what I can do is when I start that path array command, I'm going to select the object that I want to array. So I'll select that circle, press enter, and then select the path. I can select that rectangle and it just arrays that circle all through the rectangle at an equal distance. Now notice I do have a little arrow right here, a blue arrow. If I were to grab that, I can adjust the distance between these objects. I could also adjust the distance between them specifically if I had a set distance that it needed to be maybe a distance of one. I could type one and press enter and it would set the array to be one in between each of those. Now I'll come over here and do the same thing. I'm gonna draw a circle just to show you it's different. Um, you can create that array along different paths. So right here, I just drew a spline, just a random spline, but I wanna show you that path array. Select the circle, press enter, and then select the path, and that's it. We've got the path array command. Now this would be ideal for something like maybe in civil, if you had a roadway and you had to put maybe a gutter system every, I don't know, 50 feet or 100 feet or something, you could draw it once and then just have that array all throughout the whole street with all the curves and the cul-de-sac or whatever it is that you need. That would be an ideal time to use something like this. When you're done with the command, you'll just click the, um, close array command, and that's it. We've made a path array.